Hello everybody, welcome to the Cloud Tech session. Today we're going to be showing a little bit of Kubernetes. We're going to be showing also Istio, Kiali, Grafana. The control plane dashboard, everything that, happening, that happens on the cluster. The Jaeger, Prometheus. So let's go over with my Kubernetes and stuff. I have a couple of applications deployed here. You see the deployments, you have also the services. You can see that services are deployed as cluster IP, so there's no external way of accessing it. There's no port, there's no ingress, there's no gateway for this in this default namespace. So we're going to Istio namespace right now, Istio system. There's my services, there's Grafana, Zipkin, Tracing, Prometheus, Kiali, Ingress Gateway, etc. Now we're going to Kiali and going to check the applications. This is the applications of Istio. Let's go to default. There is a graph of default. You can see there's a virtual service, distribution rules, a MySQL database, etc. And check the overview every, all the namespace we have on the east two configuration this is the api gateway we have virtual servicing that's the proxy for the services so it's going to use this prefix for this destination rules okay there's two deployments of corporate s1 and s2 and for enterprise same and there's the destination rule I'm going to show one destination room. Basically, forwards the traffic to, to those instances. So there's the corporate, which goes to my deployments. You can check the services. There's a corporate servicing. And the workloads, there is corporate V1 and V2 interlay as enterprise. You can see the destination goes to these workloads. So what I'm going to show also right now, here are my two applications. And again, I'm going to show the credentials, access the policy credentials, how to use them. In this case, right here, we have on the Istio namespace authentication request, which I'm using out0.com. I create a configuration. This is my issuer and this URI, and uh, just add this payload to header, whatever. There's the request authentication, okay? And there is the authorization policy. Authorization policy is over the gateway at all addresses that doesn't have the header. Right now it's allowing. As you guys can see, we can access. So that, that application that I just put a prefix on the virtual servicing, which is not allowed to be accessed externally, using the virtual service, it can access enterprise and corporate. Enterprise, corporate, and enterprise. Right now, we are going to change this to deny. Save. So, we're going to try that. Our back, role-based access control, there's access denied. In this case, I'm calling this URL, okay, within my credentials, which I'm, and here is my token, okay? So if I go in here and I enable on the bear, so the application is accessible. That's the way you work with the login, like the credential security with the, a cluster. And then right, right here, I'm using Istio with the typical for service mesh stuff. So there's all the stuff of Istio, all the services. In this case, I'm, I just put a configuration of the Ingress Gateway. So after the traffic that comes in, inbound traffic, it's requesting by the authorization policy that if you don't have the header, the credentials, it's denied. Right here, I'm going to disable, yeah. Suddenly. And in this case, for if you need a multi-factor authentication, you can also integrate. If you need for a specific authorization policy over a workload, that's easier to do other, other than uh, 
a monolithic application that's maybe there is a kind of a credentials unique for an entire app and here you can do for example for this application that can have a kind of authorization for the other and other etc so that's all for today and uh, see you in the next video right here i'm going to disable this because sometimes i have to check some things and uh, i i'm gonna leave it allowed hello okay so so the traffic is allowed. Jam. Okay, that's all for today. See you guys on the next video. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.